Aloha and welcome to the AkuShaper introductory tutorial series. This tutorial series is focused on how to create a new design in AkuShaper. When you open the AkuShaper software, you'll want to have a board to design in your head. Throughout this video series, we'll be working on this 6 foot short board which has come from an AkuShaper order card. This board has some classic design features including a wing in the outline, a beak nose, single to double concave on the bottom, and a slightly rolled tail on the deck. By the end of this video series, you will have an understanding of the tools necessary to complete the outline, rails, concaves, and rocker in a finished surfboard design. You can find a link to download the example model in the description below if you'd like to follow along as we design this board step by step. In our first video, we're going to cover some of the basic functions in the outline tab in order to design our wing and finish the outline of our example model here. So to begin, we're going to go navigate to the File New menu and choose a stock model that is similar to the size and shape of the board we'd like to design. In this case, we'll be using the 6-0 short board. After you click OK, your outline will be displayed. Your outline is made up of control points, and moving these control po points changes the shape of the outline. The blue control points sit on the outline itself, and the yellow and red control points set the curves between the blue control points. So now that we have an overview of our outline, we can go ahead and start making some changes to the shape and size of it. The first step in the outline tab is to change the dimensions of this surfboard to our desired length, width, and thickness. You can do this by clicking the pencil icon in the bottom left hand corner and setting your length, width, length, width and thickness. Our example model is a 6 foot 4 by 20 inch by 2 and a half inch surfboard. Dimensions can be input in centimeters, millimeters, as well as inches. Now that we clicked OK, you can see that our board has been resized and we can start making some changes to the shape of our outline. We're going to start by moving our center control point forward because we'd like the wide point of this board closer to the nose. We can make this change by moving the center control point with our mouse, our arrow keys, or by adding a new point. In this case, we're going to move our wide point forward by dragging the control point with our mouse and making the final adjustments using our arrow keys. If you make any mistakes, you can use the undo function in the top toolbar to go back a step, and you can use the redo function to go forward one step. So now that we've made our, moved our wide point forward, we can make some small adjustments to the width of our nose and tail by using the red and yellow control points that are anchored to the blue control points in the nose and tail. We're simply doing this just to widen up our outline at this point. Okay, now that our base outline is within our desired dimensions, we can start designing our wing because our outline only has a continuous curve at this point. To do this, we're gonna select the add point button in the toolbar and place our, the leading control edge of our wing to the outline. Control points can be added anywhere along the outline. We chose the one foot mark in this case because we want our wing near where our fins are gonna be placed. So to complete the rest of our wing, we're gonna select the add point function again. From here, we're going to add the trailing control point of our wing to the outline. To delete control points, select the control point and click the X in the bottom right hand corner to delete it. Okay, now that we've added the control points to build our wing, we're going to utilize the zoom function next because we want to be able to make fine adjustments to the shape of our wing. To do this, select the zoom box in the top left hand corner, drag it across the section you'd like to zoom in on, and release it to zoom. Okay, now that we're zoomed in, we can move our control points to change the shape of our wing. We're going to start by pulling our blue control points out to give shape to the wing. Okay, now we have a nice looking shape to our wing. We can move our yellow and red control points to increase the sharpness of the curve in our wing. Now that we have the desired shape of our wing, we're going to use the zoom fit key to zoom out and then we're going to use our spot check function to hide the control points because we want to see if our outline is getting close to the desired shape. 
If you detect any irregularities in your outline, go ahead and grab a control point and make those changes. In this case, we have a little bit of a bump just forward of where our wing is. We're going to grab our red control point and smooth that outline back out. Okay, now that everything looks smooth and in place with our outline, we're going to go ahead and save this design because we don't want to lose the work we've done this far. To save, we're going to go to the File menu and click Save As. From here, we're going to give a name to our board model and click Save. Okay, now our outline is complete and our design has been saved, we can move on to the next step of our surfboard design, designing the rails and concaves. Join us in our next tutorial as we explore the basic functions in the Slices tab to build different concaves and rails.